beautiful. What are these, Hikari? Their light is so soothing. They're paper lanterns, made to resemble the human soul. The people of the castle town began decorating the streets with them to send off the departed. I see. They may be gone, but they're never far from our hearts. Indeed, their souls light our way. How wondrous. Lord Hikari! What is it, Benke? Merely an idle suggestion, but might we hold a festival to commemorate our victory? Since time immemorial, Ku has celebrated its victories in war with lavish festivities. We should do the same, so the people can come to love their new king. No. But why, your majesty? Our friends' wounds are still fresh, their bodies and minds still raw. We all lost much in the war. There is no cause for celebration. You have a kind heart, Hikari. But you shouldn't be so dour all the time. Seeing you happy will make others happy in turn. Agnia. You try this. Hold a festival to pray for the happiness of those you've lost. And in that way, we mourn our friends. I see the merit in that. A ritual of remembrance. I like it. A splendid idea. I'll begin preparations right away. Lady Agnia, would you dance during the celebration? But me? It would be an honor. Well then, we have all we need. Not quite, Benke. A ritual requires the appropriate accoutrements. Ah, but of course, Your Majesty. I suppose I got ahead of myself. I'll help too. After all, a little hard work never scared me. Ah, good, good. I have three items in mind I might ask you to gather for us. Wine to use as an offering, wood from a sacred tree, and of course, a mask for the dancer. You can count on it.
Are these what you were looking for, Benkei? Yes, yes, perfect. Now we've all we need to begin the ritual. And with your lovely steps to add color to the procession, I reckon this will be one for the ages. Patience, Benkei. If Agnia is to dance, we'll need music, yes? Ah, but of course. I suppose I got carried away once again. We can't entrust such an important occasion to just any bard. Do you have anyone in mind? Now that you mention it, a rumor has been spreading among the people. They speak of the dulcet tones of a lute drifting from the tranquil grotto. A lute? Then we know where to go. Prepare yourself. Take this. Here I come. How's this? To work. I think not. It's my turn now. Now it begins. Not this time. No. My turn. Not this time. Well, I won't back down. Shall we take Barlow? This wasn't in my calculation. We're true friends. Here. The show must go on! I'm not feel my wrath! Take this. Goodness, what a tantrum that was. Stand aside or fight. Time to shine! The 
I need a plan. The ground is treacherous here. Watch your step. Thank you. <laughs> Are you okay, Agnia? Sorry. I'm so clumsy sometimes. And yet you move forward. Such is your nature. If you should stumble again, take my hand. I will. Thank you, Hikari. beginning of coup, or so they say. The beginning? Hikari! That sound! It's... I know. Let's keep going.
It has been entirely too long. Yomi! I had a feeling it was your loot the townsfolk were whispering about. Oh, -ho. far and wide people speak of me in awe. Today, tomorrow, and the day after that. Why are you playing in a place like this? I was waiting for you, Lord Hikari. And remembering my dear sister. Often, we would take refuge in these very caves, and play the loot together. A battered thing we found on the road. Its strings were rotted, and its sound was warped. Nonetheless, for lowborn like us, hearing it was like living in a dream. One night, we overheard our parents speaking. Why were we burdened with twins? We can't raise them both. We have to leave one in the mountains. My hand was trembling in fear, but my sister wrapped hers around it. And so she held me until sleep came. When I awoke, she was gone. She had left our home so that I could stay. I was all alone, and despite how poor we were, I managed to make it to adulthood. Day after day, I plucked at the loot, my sister always in my thoughts. And to my surprise, I actually became quite good at it. During my travels, my sister and I were reunited. She served as an attendant to the royal family of Ku, and lived in the castle town. I know her name. It was Suki, wasn't it? Just so, Lord Hikari. Was. Tsuki is no longer with us. She was taken by the very clan she served. I know it is ridiculous to bear a grudge against you, Lord Hikari. But what else is there for me to do? No matter how often I sing of her, my pain does not subside. Lord Hikari. Would the sight of your blood wash my suffering away? It's as you said. Clan Ku took everything from you. And I will bear that burden, Lady Yomi. If there is anything I can do to ease your pain, then I will do it. If I must. On your guard. Prepare yourself. Hit! 
this. My turn. Here I come. My turn. Here I come. I'll end this. Allow me. My turn. I need this. Now it becomes my fight for my friends. This pain will linger. Play. Here I come. You're open. Prepare yourself. I need this. Now it begins. I still have much to learn. <sighs> Lady Yomi. Lord Hikari. You are strong, and your heart is kind. I have no doubt that my sister was happy to serve your family. <sighs> Tsuki, forgive me. I couldn't do anything for you in return. She would be happy to see that you still live. Why don't we pray for your sister's happiness together? Together? There will be a ritual to honor the departed, to mourn their passing. Will you lend us your loot to send off your sister and the countless others? Lord Hikari.
<laughs> You've gotten much better, Yomi. Thanks to you, Suki. No, Yomi, no. You chose this path yourself. Just as I chose mine. Lord Hikari will guide us to a brighter future. I'm sure of it. You have much faith in him, Tsuki. <laughs> what can I do, Tsuki? I would repay the favor I owe you. Just... Play your loot for a little while longer. Hearing it sets my heart at ease. So please, just for a little while longer? <laughs> <laughs> 